Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. Today you're going to be doing some ladder grinding here with a Rakdos Prowess deck that I put together, uh, which I'm very excited about. And before we get into it here, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing my channel with a friend of yours. And for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back. I really do appreciate you. And I also wanted to give a big shout out here to my members. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. And if you'd like to become a member and have early access to my content for as little as $1.99 a month, here's exactly how you do it. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the deck. So I kind of wanted to look at making just the most sort of quick, low to the ground, aggressive, strategy here with the mono red deck or possibly uh, Rakdos. And I ended up going into Rakdos for Callus Sellsword, uh, which has been pretty powerful uh, in the past. Part of the reason that I wanted to have this effect is with some of the new cards here like Ember Heart Challenger and Heartfire Hero, you get major benefits for targeting your own creatures. Um, so kind of more of like a pump style deck seem to be in order. Um, I did still want to have access to removal, so I am keeping eight pieces of removal here main deck with four copies of Shock and four copies of Lightning Strike that you can always use to go to the dome to get the last couple points in or to remove pesky creatures on the other side of the table. For our creatures, we have um, basically everything has prowess or the ability to get pumped up when targeted. We have four copies of Emberheart Challenger, which is a 2-2 Haste Prowess. And then whenever it becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time each turn, you can exile the top card of your library and then play it until end of the turn. So pretty powerful effect. Uh, it is also a mouse, uh, which is relevant for one of the lands we've added in. Uh, two copies of Rockface Village, where we can go ahead and then use this to pump one of our uh, mouse um, and there's a couple different uh, mice types here in the deck. So this is going to be a nice sort of value engine. We've got four copies of Slickshot Show Off, which has been amazing in previous red decks here as a 1-2 flying haste. And then whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Also, the ability to plot this card if you're facing like counter magic is really helpful or just a lot of removal. Um, and then we have four copies of Heartfire Hero, another one of the new uh, mouse soldiers, as a one mana for 1-1. One, one. And whenever it becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time each turn, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. So a nice way to kind of build it up. And then when it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. This is really nice when you have something like Callous Sellsword for the Burn Together ability where you can sacrifice the Heartfire Hero, and then Heartfire Hero will, do, will, will deal its uh, current power to the opponent, and then it will also deal the damage again from the Burn Together. So you essentially can get uh, a double hit there, which is really nice. Also have one copy of Cacophony Scamp, just because I wanted to have another um, kind of a similar effect here. This is another card where when it dies, it does, deals its power to any target. And since we have a lot of pump, it's sort of a nice addition to the deck. I wanted to have four or five cards that could sort of do this. And then we also have four copies of Monastery Swift Spear, which has always been amazing. And it's pretty much an auto include in every mono red aggro or um, pro, you know Rakdos prowess uh, aggressive deck. Just absolutely fantastic. For the pump, we have um, four copies of Might of the Meek, which can give Trample for one red, and then it also will get plus one plus zero until end of turn if you control a mouse. And then it replaces itself by drawing a card. So a nice way to activate Prowess. 
In addition, you've got four copies of Heartfire Hero and four copies of Emberheart Challenger, which are both mice. Uh, two copies of Mirren Blade Bane Splitter. Part of the reason I'm only running this as a two of is I wanted to have, you know, additional pump effects where I could give like a permanent buff. Um, and unfortunately this doesn't give trample where a lot of the other effects give trample, which is really important. So I'm running it as a two of. We also have four copies of Monstrous Rage, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, been around for a while, which gives plus two plus zero until end of turn and then creates a monster token, a monster roll token attached to it, which is plus one plus one and trample. So effectively you're giving plus three plus one and trample. And then we also have four copies of Demonic Ruckus, which can be played on turn one by plotting it, um, which will then, as an enchantment, gives the creature plus one plus one and menace and trample, and then replaces itself if it uh, is put into the into the graveyard from play. So we have 12 different effects here which give trample. So a lot of ways to kind of force that damage through. And then a couple extra buffs. So 14 pump spells, eight burn spells, 22 spells in total. We also have kind of the two extra spells here to sack a creature and then do damage right to the dome. Uh, and then a total of 19 creatures and only running 19 land. Part of the reason that you're not seeing any uh, Mishra's Foundry here is just because I want such a low land count that I want to be able to do multiple sources of red um, every turn. And since the plan is to kind of sort of stall out at two or three mana, um, that's all you really need to function of this deck. So I've opted to leave out the Mishra's Foundries just because... Um, I want to be able to, again, have access to multiple different spells a turn. You might be able to sneak like one or two copies in, and maybe that's right, but this way we have 19 sources of red, and then we also have um, these two rock face villages, which can only be used for red mana to cast creature spells, and then they can help uh, pump creatures and give them haste. Uh, we do also have four copies of Black Cleave Cliffs, just on the off chance that we happen to need the black mana to play the Callus Cell, sort of just why it's there. And that kind of rounds out the deck. So all that said, let's go ahead and jump into a couple games. Definitely a huge fan of aggro decks, especially on ladder, just because you are trying to grind so many games just to get up there. And the games are short. All right, opening hand looks great. We've got three lands and stuff to do. We'll lead out here with Black Cleave Cliffs, just because it does only come into play untapped if you have two or fewer other lands. And let's go ahead and plot the ruckus. We've got Slickshot Show Off coming. Uh, this might call her, it's potentially gonna be quite problematic. But the rabbit deck doesn't really have anything in the air, so this is kind of a nice way to get started. Yeah, and I think we just want to go show off here. We could try to get the Heartfire Heroes going. But happy to just go for the show off. And then next turn we can play Heartfire Hero and then give it haste and get in if we we need to. Okay, definitely facing down a whole bunch of uh, damage here. If they have like 
a make three guys next turn, like another hop to it. We're facing 8, 11, 13. So that is a real possibility. Um, I guess we probably want to go maybe play some blockers here just in case we need them and then just pump a little bit more here, maybe like with a Bane Splitter this turn. Just try to push a little bit more in the air. This way we can also do some more damage to face just by blocking with our heroes. So if they have the hop to it here, I think we might still just be dead. But if they have only like two guys, we can survive. And then next turn with uh, Might of the Meek and Ruckus can push another nine damage. So as long as we block with one of these, that should be enough. Provided that both of our mice die this turn. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. And we'll just throw this right back in face. And that'll do it. Yeah, because this is going to be six, nine. And right now, as I'm streaming this, we're kind of near the end of the month. Um, so maybe might be able to hit like Diamond or possibly Mythic before the end of the season. But definitely excited to try running this out for the next season. Um, yeah, there's not really enough here with this one lander. I think we want to try. I think we can maybe do better. Um, I suppose we could like try to get like Cacophony Scamp and like Ruckus going. Mulliganing always hurts. I suppose we have, yeah, three cards we can't play. Hmm. Kind of tempted to try it, though. Like, we, we definitely have some stuff going, and a lot of our curve is just one drops. I think I'm going to try it. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of learning it, whether we should be throwing these one-landers back or not. But the deck is very, very lean, so it can run pretty well off um, even just two land. Like, if we didn't have Scamp, they're definitely not keeping. Okay, didn't get there. I prefer to use Heartfire Hero since it does grow. And they had the Helix, unfortunately. Okay, there's the second land, so at least we've got that going. Um, let's see, do we want to just run a show off out there or possibly just plot one? Could 
could also just go Challenger here. I think actually Show Off is probably fine. Like if they were holding mana up there, maybe just plot it, but since they were tapped out, I think it's okay to just run it out. Okay, up against Domain. Now I think we want to go Swift Spear into Monstrous Rage here. Actually, I guess Bane Splur is slightly better. And then I think we want to put it... I don't think they have any ground creatures except for like the herd um, of like the five or the three threes. I'm trying to remember like what changed from last season. Um, like show off is definitely like the more problematic card. So maybe we'll put it on Swift Spear just to like spread the threats out a little bit. Explosion. Could go Scamp, Might of the Meek, just to cycle. But I think maybe just going for Maybe show off here. I guess they could have Angel next turn. Yeah, I still think I'm gonna go Challenger here. Okay, there's Binding. I want to hold off on show off here. I think we go maybe Heartfire Hero plus Scamp. Problem is we are walking into Sunfall mana and there's a very real possibility they have it. But if they have like Angel. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to get this going because we've got Might of the Meek. So I think I'm going to go for the Heartfire Hero Scamp play. And this way, if they have like another like explosion, like we do a little bit of damage on the way out. Yeah, Traxa is probably game, unfortunately. Couldn't quite get there quick enough. Yeah, especially with Lightning Helix, that was rough. I don't think there's any sequence of plays here we can draw to deal with the tracks. I think that's just it. I mean, I suppose we could trade for it. Like, what have they got? They've got Niv Mizzet. Ugh. Probably just done. I guess I'll see what they do. Yeah, Might of the Meek is enough. Team, they've got a grip full of cards. I think we're just done. I 
Oh yeah, they're at 28. This is definitely over at this point. I think we maybe missed one turn on land there, so maybe we should have just mulliganed. Try to get try to get two mana. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, opening hand looks great. I think we lead out with Heartfire Hero. I guess, I mean, Swift Spear is always good, but getting Hero started feels pretty good. Guess they think so too. I guess we just um, send here with these two. Definitely lightning striking their hero down. Suppose if they have the burn together, we're just dead. Yeah, they've got it. Yeah, Felonious Rage is definitely another consideration. I'm not sure if I like it more than Mirren Bane Splitter, but that would be the card that I'd be considering potentially switching out. No one drop, but the twos look pretty good. We've got three mana. So they could have torched the tower here. I think we probably do respect it and plot the show off. Yeah, I think we're just going to play it safe here and just maybe go for the challenger. Uh, I suppose we're missing damage, though, if we don't go for show off also. But I think we don't pump here. We just wait past priority.
Yeah, they had the torch. Okay. I guess let's start with uh, Might of the Meek since we've got Bane Splitter back up. Although I suppose if they have Lightning Helix, we got to be a little bit careful. So maybe we just start with Village. Hey, use it or lose it. Guess if they have Helix, they just blow us out here. They could still have Get Lost, so I think we wait. Okay, now we've got an opening. Like at best they have Torch the Tower or maybe, oh, they're tapped out, this is perfect. It's nice, but they're gonna be double blocking anyways. Okay, that's a nice pickup. So now we can go for Bane Splitter. Let's see if they respect it with a double block. Yes. So we're pushing to Seven. So I think let's just go for Might of the Meek then. Hopefully no Sunfall here. Although we have Rock Face Village, so I think we're just set up for the win. Even if they've got Sunfall. Yeah, I really, I really like running two copies of this. I'm not sure if we could sneak out three. That might be a bit much, but two copies definitely feels good. Yeah, that'll do it. Opener looks good. We'll lead out here at Black Cleave Cliffs. Oh, I guess token life gain maybe? Haven't seen this card in a while. I guess let's stick the ruckus. Okay. 
Okay, definitely gonna need a creature here. I suppose we could just play out Cell Sword. Yeah. It's not amazing, <laughs> but it is a 2 2. Gets it done. Um, probably just cycle. Okay, that definitely needs to meet shock. Cycle. Oh, that's a nice pickup. Okay, so they take lightning strike. Sure. Lightning Helix on top is rough. This is definitely not a good matchup for us, that's for sure. This might be the worst matchup. Um, yeah. Guess we get the damage in now while we can. Ah, oh, this is so, <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah, there's the helix. That is not going to do it. Um, that's probably it, unfortunately. Yeah, with an Impa call. I think this is probably lights out. So I ended up going two and three. Um, not a great start, but definitely a fun deck. So appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.